Well, we just got an update seconds ago that it is now nearing 90% containment, so they're really getting there. We're here at the fire station where you can see since this was an eight alarm fire, they have all of these dozens of fire trucks and other emergency vehicles here. They're on standby just in case they are in fact needed. We also know the National Guard has completed multiple water drops, and now those who have been evacuated are just waiting to hear when they may return home. This is now an eight alarm fire here in Baltimore County, which is unprecedented, especially for a brush fire. It's a scene you'd expect to see out on the West Coast, burning acres of land in Baltimore County, Maryland. It's just been shocking. I, I got up to just step out for a minute and um, this, the sky was had this orange hue, so it almost looked like after a tornado, you know, that, that it was actually beautiful, but then I saw billows of smoke. And so I was thinking, wow, what in the world could have possibly happened? Fire crews called to Soldiers Delight Park around 3 p.m. for a rapidly spreading brush fire, with reports of flames reaching 300 feet high along high tension power lines. This is a non hydrant area, so there's no fire hydrant, so it makes it very difficult to shuttle water in our trucks and get control of the fire. 200 emergency responders attacking the flames, burning 700 acres of land. Light wind and dry conditions playing a role in the spread, leading to the evacuation of more than two dozen homes to Franklin High School. That includes Maria Zufall's family, forced to leave as flames crept up to their property. She says ashes were coming down on them as they evacuated. All we've really seen was smoke and fire trucks everywhere. And it just, the smoke was just rolling in, getting farther and farther, closer and closer to us. Scary there. Now there have been no reports of any injuries, thankfully, and only a shed has been hit by the flames. No homes right now. Uh, the American Red Cross is also here on scene. They are helping those impacted. They say they'll be working with them in the coming days to provide recovery resources for the nearly 30 households impacted. Live in Baltimore County, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.